The following program is brought to you by Element 14, the electronic design community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com. Hello, welcome back to the learning circuit. My name's Mike, and today we're going to learn how to connect an LCD to our Arduino projects. We'll be looking at two different types of monochrome LCD, a character display and a graphics display. The character display is the simpler of the two. Each individual character is made up of a small grid of dots, usually five across by seven tall. Each of these character blocks can be addressed separately and can be made to show numbers or text and even symbols. A graphics LCD is slightly different. It's entirely made up of a grid of dots and each individual dot can be turned on and off. This makes it more flexible than the character LCD, but at the added cost of being more complicated to drive. Our first step to hooking these displays up is to solder on a pin header so that we can use it with our breadboard. When I'm soldering, I like to use a piece of sticky tack just to help support the components and keep everything straight. I'll then bring a, a little bit of solder onto the tip of my iron and that helps the heat flow a little bit better into the pin. And I'm trying to add heat to one side and solder to the other and that just in, ensures that the solder flows properly around the joint. So I'll start off by doing opposite ends and then I'll go and uh, fill in the rest of them. And similarly for the, the larger screen, although the pads are a little bit smaller here, so it takes a, a little bit more heat to, to flow the solder properly. But again, just tack the outside pins first and then go through and fill in the rest. Okay, so I've got my breadboard here and my notes and I'm using an Arduino Micro but any Arduino will work for this. And now that I've soldered the pin header to my LCD, I can plug that into my breadboard. And Arduino actually has a built-in library for these monochrome LCDs. So I'm gonna wire up my screen according to the example sketches. And the first thing I need to do is wire up five volts and ground. So the LCD actually has two power supplies, one for the LCD itself and one for the backlight. And we need to wire both of those up to five volts and ground. And the next thing to do is to add a potentiometer to control the contrast. This gets wired up to five volts and ground and the wiper goes to pin three on our LCD. Okay, we can actually test it now by uh, applying power and we should get an image. So if I take a screwdriver and adjust my pot, there we go. So this is a good sign. This means that the power supply is all hooked up correctly and we can carry on with the rest of the wiring. And now that's finished, we're ready for some code. I'm going to upload the Hello World example. And you can find that in File, uh, Examples and Liquid Crystal. And these are a bunch of example programs here. So I've got Hello World, I'm going to upload that. Remember to plug in our Arduino and there's our code running. Now we could try printing a different message. Um, how about the learning circuit? Uh, let's try that. I'll comment these lines out and we'll try that. Ah, so you see it, it runs out of room here. Um, part of the message is lost. So we have to think about what we print here um, because the, the LCD is only 16 characters. We only have room for 16 characters. Let's, let's move that circuit down to the, the bottom line. And we can do that with a set cursor and make that column zero of line one. And then we'll print circuit like that. Just remember to delete it from that line. And there we go. So it works and I, I find it really useful to play around with these example programs, uh, changing things he here and there. It's, it's all well and good reading the documentation, but actually fiddling around with the programs themselves can often yield better results. Let's have a look at the graphic LCD. 
So the graphic LCD is a bit larger and it has more pins. And we're also going to use a library to control it and it's called OpenG LCD. And this library has a recommended wiring layout. So I'm just going to follow that and wire things up. Okay, we're ready for some code. And there's a similar example sketch for the graphics screen. So we're going to upload that, just plug it. Okay, the code's running now. Um, you might not be able to see it, so from my angle I can, if I adjust the contrast. There we go. And obviously there's a lot more room for, for text on a, a big screen like this. And there's lots more that you can actually do with these graphics LCDs. So I'm gonna try out a different example program and see what it can do. Okay, so a nice graphic there and some text a line animation. So it's just scrolling through um, a lot of the different things that this type of screen can do. All the different fonts there that it can use. Obviously there's a lot more going on with this uh, graphics screen. The, the code is a little bit more complicated than the character LCD. But it's also much more flexible in terms of what it can display. Just take a look at some of these graphics that you can do. And actually looking at the example programs is a big help. You can read the comments and, and change some values here and there and, and figure out kind of what the program does. And then transfer that over into your own code. So that's how to get started with Arduino and monochrome LCDs. Are there any other types of display that you'd like to see covered in this way? Let me know on the Element 14 community at element14.com forward slash the learning circuit. Where you'll also find all of the code and diagrams that we used in today's video. Thanks for watching.